everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? So good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is another funky bow lantern topper. But this one is gonna be a gift because she is recovering from surgery. I'm gonna go visit her, I think, and I wanted to take her something when I go to visit. It's not very often that here in Virginia you go someplace without a little something. You either take food with you or you take a little gift or you take something. You know, that's just kind of the southern way of doing things. And I'm not sure how much decorating she's gotten done or will be able to do this season. So I thought I would take her a lantern with a funky bow topper. I thought that she might like it. And I... have I'm gonna turn my camera and get started here real quick, but I wanted to explain that I, I'm really not sure what the colors of her house are right now inside. So it's been a, a little while since I've been in her house. I've seen her several times, but I haven't been to her house. So not sure what color scheme she has right now, but I chose uh, burgundy, pretty much. Burgundy and burlap is pretty much what I've chosen. So that's what I'm gonna be working with. This is gonna hang on the bow topper in some way we are going to do a 16 loop funky bow tutorial in this one too so let me turn my camera and we're going to get started with making this lantern funky bow topper for fall for my friend i'll be right back okie dokie i'm back and this is the lantern that i'm going to use i need to clean off the top of it i think a little bit i just got this at kirkland's the other day Dusty lantern, though. So let me dust it off a little bit here. This is similar to the lantern I used for my cozy corner, but this my lantern is a little darker. This is more cream, and she mentioned she liked the cream pumpkins that I had put up on my desk up there. So I did get her a couple of those too to take her those. And I thought she could set them next to this and maybe on a tray or something. And I'm going to give her, I was going to thinking about making a swag, but I'm not. I'm just going to give her this and those pumpkins. And maybe she has a tray and we could set up a, you know, a little tray centerpiece or, or lantern centerpiece or something with those two pumpkins. I don't know, but I'm going to take her the pumpkins and the rest of this garland. This is just a garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. All of the accent pieces come from Hobby Lobby, by the way including this candle. I did make this candle ring out of a little bit of that garland. It was not difficult to make. I just wrapped it around my hand pretty much and just kind of eyeballed it to make sure that it would fit around this candle. And I took tie wraps and I just tied it together with tie wraps every so often. And that is all I'm going to put inside of this. I want to leave it a little bit generic so that she can you know do different things with it if she wants to so and then I thought at Christmas time she is one of the ladies that we get together and do our craft you know sometimes I talk about my craft day so I thought that maybe one day we could get together and do a funky bow topper for this lantern for Christmas you know or something like that I thought that would might be a fun craft day so anyway that's all I wanted to do with the inside is just put that candle ring around it and just set the candle in there. I'm not gonna set it up on a on a, a candlestick. I wanna let her, you know, take care of that if she would like to. But that's, you know, that's pretty in there. It's just the leaves around the, the burgundy candle. Well, there we go. I have already gotten my ribbons cut for the funky bow. So here are the four ribbons I'm going to use. Again, with this reddish burgundy check, which I love. I just love this stuff. And this kind of pulls in the burgundies and a little bit of the oranges that, and yellows that might be in some of the picks that I bought to use. All of this stuff, like I said, is from Hobby Lobby. I just bought two picks, two kind of fall picks, and then some acorns, and then a couple of grapevine pumpkins and that's it that's all i'm going to put in and then i'll hang this from the side 
so all right I cut all of these I think it'll sit up there for us there we go uh, I cut all of my ribbon strips at 26 inches long because I want eight inch tails and five inch loops so for each part of the funky bow so let me show you you just in effect fold the 26 inch strip in half I've also chevroned or dovetailed the bottom and all you do with that is fold your ends in half and cut up I cut up anyway from the edge up to the fold a lot of people do it this way and cut down it doesn't matter either way either way will work then you just fold your strip in half find five inches because I like a five inch loop Pinch it together at that point. Go to the back tail and twist it around to the front because you want the front of the ribbon facing forward. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna make a 16 loop funky bow. This so like it is, since it is an even numbered looped bow, I'm going to go through all the pattern, through the entire pattern with the loops pointing up for the first time. Then I'm gonna turn the loops down from center my thumb being center the center of the bow if you think of it that way the next four will go down the next four will go up and the next four will go down doing the same thing with every single strip that you pick up fold it right in half find five inches pinch it together at that point go to that back tail and twist and bring that forward. Again, go to 10, pinch it together at that point, or not 10, go to five, a five inch loop. I'm just going to 10 on my board from top five to 10, sorry. Go to that back tail and twist. And then I'm just adding a burlap in here. I love this, this is the only ribbon that's not uh, wired. I always use wire ribbon for my funky bows, but this ribbon is from AC Moore, and it holds its shape, look at that, beautifully, you guys, beautifully. It really bumps up a funky bow. It really, really does. All right, so there's the first four times through the pattern with the loops pointing up from center, my thumb being center. Okay, next time through the pattern, here we go. Same thing, fold them in half, fine, five, Find five inches on your board or whatever measuring device you have. Pinch it together and add it in. Twist that back tail. The ribbon is sliding back toward the crook of my finger and forefinger as I'm adding the loops and I'm allowing it to do that. You know, and I will have quite a handful of ribbon when I'm done. Flip it around there and add it in and twist. Next. And twist. And yes, I even twist the back tail of the burlap, even though it looks like it is two-sided ribbon, it really is texturally different, a bit different. So, and here we go. This time we're gonna turn it and point it up. And I'm gonna go all the way through the pattern with it pointed up. And then the next time with the loop pointed up, the next time I'm gonna go with the point uh, with the loop pointed down, and I'm going to speed through the rest of the I'm going to go to the center of my pipe cleaner, go beside my finger, my thumb, and pull it around to the back, capturing all of those loops using the hand that you're holding the bow 
shut as resistance. Pull against that. Pull it as tight as you possibly can. Get this hand that you're getting ready to twist the twist tie shut with as resistance and up really close and twist. Ooh. Twist, twist, twist. Make sure it's good and tight. Whew. Take a breather. Stretch out your hand, stretch out my back. <laughs> And then, of course, as I always say, fluff, 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 fluff. This is so pretty. I'm loving this. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy these four look nice together. Oh, wow, you guys. I think she'll like this. And I think it's generic enough in color that it will go with whatever she has. She, she decorates in in the country genre, like I do. And uh, she is a quilter. She's got, she's very talented. My other lady friend is, she's a beautiful crocheter. These two ladies are so talented in their own right. The ones that I have the craft days with all the time, they are so talented, so, so talented. We all do different things, but we're all crafters. Just love them to pieces, both of them. Very old and dear friends. All right. Before I go too much further, I want to go ahead and try to find all the loops and bring them forward. I'm going to go ahead and get this tied onto the lantern, and then I can finish fluffing. I love that burlap. That burlap just bumps up these bows like you would not believe, you guys. If you can find that, it and I and I have seen it in other stores too. I believe I've seen it in Michaels. I've not seen it in uh, Hobby Lobby. I don't believe it does not have uh, wire. But boy, oh boy, does it hold its shape beautifully, and it really helps these funky bows look so pretty. I'm going to take a big piece of this. Well, ooh, I don't know. I may have enough to get this tied on here. We'll see. So I just put that uh, right side down into the pipe cleaner. And I'm going to leave that pipe cleaner long this time, just in case she might like to add a swag on the back of this next year or some other time. Be over the lantern. I'm going to tie it right around this top piece here. Take my strips. Say a prayer that they'll be long enough for me to make a little bow here. And I'm going to make a square bow. And then I'll show you how I do that. I take the left strip. Wait, I really did not get that very straight. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hopefully that will work. Okay. The left strip or tail over the right and get your handle out of the way and pull it really tight really 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 tight because you want that bow to be cinched on there nice and tight so you can manipulate it and work with it around it with the right glue uh, strip twist it to bring the right side up and pull it ah, I have enough good pull it through just like you're tying a shoe Right about to the edge of the lantern. Like that. Cute. All righty. So there we go. That 
is the start of a funky bow top bun. I'm gonna have some fluffing to do for sure though. Now, I'm gonna take some time to do a little bit of fluffing here. So, I might put this into fast motion so I don't bore you guys to tears doing this. I'm going to cut down a few of these tails. They are just a little bit too flouncy for my taste. Just a little bit. And not all of them, but just some of them. This is pretty, but I really like the, the splingier one. So that's a good example. You can just move it to the one you might not like as much as another, to the back of the bow and bring, pull another one out to accent more, you know? You control the bow, don't let it control you. They do get a mind of their own sometimes, these bows. <laughs> All right, I know for a fact that I want, I have to cut this down. A couple of these grapevine pumpkins. One up there, I think, and one down here. Let me get a little glue. I still have my goo glue plugged in. It's going to go there. Well, I think I'm going to glue it to the lantern. And she can always, this is metal, so she'll be able to pull it right back off. That's the only way that I can think of that's going to hold it on here really well. I'm just going to use one of these picks. I'm going to fluff it out a little bit. Right about like that. And leave behind. There we go. about done you guys I think I'm not gonna mess with it too too much more I might cut this one apart a bit oh, I like that I like the this is kind of like the Apart 
much if we cut a little bit off of this garland. <laughs> I know. I'm going to glue this stuff into place and let it grow on me for a minute. <laughs> Alrighty, I need to let it dry. Fluff it out a little bit more. I may add another leaf or two, but pretty much I think that's it. <laughs> So I'll be back after it's dry and after I've fluffed some, and I'll show you the final product. Be back in a minute. Hey everyone, I'm back with the final product. I didn't do anything else to it except for I had a little bit of that piece of garland that I had cut off, and I just glued it in and let it kind of cascade down the side behind the wooden tag there. So that's all I did. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think that she will really like it. I'm hoping she will. And I hope that she finds a special place to put it in her house. And I hope that it helps to bring the fall season into her house and give her something pretty to look at when she's recovering. <laughs> Let me bring it up closer to you. There's the candle inside, just with the candle ring. Did it go off right now? It's still on. that I ended up having to glue onto the metal, which will be fine, it'll pull right off. That's not a problem. And there is the funky bow topper. I think it worked out really cute. Really, really, really cute. So that's it. I'll take this to her one day this week, I hope, or next week. It might not be till the next week. I told uh, her husband to let me know when she's up for visitors and whenever that is I'll take this over and and give it to her and sit with her for a little while and keep her company but let me just say as I end this one that I hope all is well with everyone and I hope that those of you who are suffering with a catastrophic illness and or chronic pain that there's someone there with you spending each day with you helping you get through each day I hope that there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where it should be or where you want it to be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits. Hugs all around. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. I keep forgetting to say that, and I want to say it every time, and I keep forgetting. <laughs> but anyway, with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.